Hey guys, welcome to Claro Scrubs. My name is Ray and today's topic is going to be on coronary artery bypass graft, also known as cabbage. We're going to be talking about what a cabbage is, what to expect the day you use surgery, and as well as some uh, risk and complications associated with it. So let's get to it. Um, first of all, let's talk about, let me see if I can get my little heart from my Claro Scrubs. And um, this heart uh, it's too small. You guys can see that. Let me uh, get my own life-size heart. Hold on. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. So we have a heart. Our heart is muscle. It needs oxygenated blood to keep pumping. When some of these blood vessels that are known as coronaries become blocked, um, that oxygenated blood is not getting to the area that the muscle needs. As a result, it becomes weak and you might develop some symptoms such as chest pain, shortness of breath, difficulty breathing and some swelling around your legs and your extremities for uh, so as a result this cabbage is required and the cabbage what it's essentially doing is bypassing that area that is blocked so let's say like this part is blocked here they'll bypass that with another blood vessel from another part of your body into here so they'll connect to the aorta which is carrying oxygenated blood and they'll bypass it so you start reestablishing the blood flow to the area of the heart so let's talk about the daily surgery what's gonna happen um, I went ahead I got this wonderful little patient here he's gonna be going through open heart surgery in, in a couple minutes and this guy uh, needs a coronary artery bypass done so first of all what's gonna happen to him is that anesthesia is gonna put in a line in a large vein around the shoulder or the neck so let's say that he got a line right here so and this is for to give in all sort of medications and IV medications and IV fluids and sedative uh, to undergo the surgery. Next thing, he might put a line in one of the wrists in an artery. There, it's gonna tell us your blood pressure at the exact time continuously. All right. Next thing, we're gonna get a Foley catheter put in, me measure your urine output. All right, during the surgery. Uh, once you're sedated. They start giving you some sedation. You're going to be dreaming about your next vacation. He's going to put in a breathing tube. And that is going to go into the vent. And the vent is going to take over the respirations uh, while you're under general anesthesia. Once that happens, your surgeon or the surgery team is going to start doing the incision, chest incision. And they'll open up uh, your sternum apart and expose your heart. And at that time, they can either these two techniques uh, do the coronary artery bypass graft uh, with the heart still beating or with the heart uh, not beating and that will require a heart lung machine so you might want to talk about with your surgeon see which technique is going to be using uh, once that's done if they're going to get a, a harvest of vein from your from one of your legs they might wrap this with a ace bandage after it's done okay so uh, don't be scared if you see the ace wrap around the leg that they took the, the vein from, all right? Next thing, once the surgery is done, they're going to leave a couple drains, all right? These drains are around your heart and around your lungs. And they're going to drain any excess uh, blood or air into a container known as a pleural bag, all right? This container is known as a pleural bag. Uh, it's going to tell the nurse after the surgery how much uh, blood is coming out of there. And if there's any extra blood that's coming out of there, it means that you might be bleeding. Um, that will tell us uh, to keep an eye for that. So that could be another complication as soon as this surgery is done. And that will, might require some blood transfusions and, and to help to get your blood, uh, blood level back to normal. So surgery is done. Uh, another thing that I might put, uh, the surgeon might leave, are some epicardial wires. And these epicardial wires are going to be hooked up to a pacer in case your heart electrical activity needs support. Uh, once the surgery is finished, they're going to take you to ICU and you're going to begin your recovery. Once you start waking up, uh, there's no bleeding on the containers, there's not much bleeding coming out that is not unexpected. The, the nurse uh, is going to start waking you up. And they'll remove the breathing tube once you're following commands and everything. Um, and then over the next couple of days, all these medical devices, they're going to be removed as you recover. Okay. Um, so there you go. That's uh, what to expect after a coronary artery bypass uh, graft on day one of the surgery. 
and as well as some complications with bleeding associated uh, that might happen most common one if you have any questions just uh, leave a comment uh, below or follow me on Facebook on Clever Scrubs and you can post questions there thanks again I'll see you next time